This one's uh, <clears throat> pretty hot off the press. I hope everyone's having a great day. I'm feeling well today. And I'm going to be talking about a woman who burned her partner's penis with hair straighteners. Now, I don't think this is funny. I just think this story is completely ridiculous. Uh, having your penis, penis burned or any, uh, general, any part of your body, actually. Um, burn is awful. It's you know it's pretty awful. Uh, it hurts physically and um, probably even mentally. But the man in question is obviously Scar for Life. Uh, please take a look at your screen here. <sighs> All right now. <laughs> well, uh, I just want to let you know the man whose uh, penis has been burned. He is not being named. And it says here that he gave his uh, partner permission to burn his penis with hair straighteners as payback after he cheated on her. Now, why he would do this, I don't understand. And this is the like the biggest simp move I've ever fucking heard on earth. I mean, no, <laughs> you, you just don't do that ever. But anyway, it says uh, uh, the woman whose name is uh, Bronwyn. Uh, Parker made the agreement with her man after he was caught being unfaithful to her and gave him third degree burns and 22 year old applied a straightener for just a few seconds and told police she only thought it would look like a sunburn and to start off with it looked brown around the outside and it didn't look too bad it just looked as if you had cooked a piece of meat now if it's been looked like a piece of cooked meat then it had to be pretty fucking bad. It's not like we're talking about uh, a tree bark or something or, 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 or a hot dog. We're talking about the guy's dick. He needs that. <laughs> it's essential. And you know, there's, there's nothing in this. I already read this article, but there's nothing in this article that suggests that if she had cheated on him, he would have gotten to burn her of, of vagina, labia, or let's say anything like that, or her nipples, nothing. So, I don't know. Look, if, if anybody was um, burning titties, there'd, there'd be like an outcry, rage over this. But let me continue on. The judge, uh, Paul Mascot, uh, who said Parker's crime was the most unusual had come across during his time in court, said it would take two years for the unnamed victim to recover from his injuries. This guy's it definitely said. <laughs> in short, his penis will be scarred for life and he will suffer from a number of issues, including proper function of his penis, not to mention cosmetic and physiological problems associated with the scarring to a, such a sensitive site. The court in Mount Baker, Southern Australia, that's where it happened, where he had a um, tempestuous pair, had a had, had a pair had a tempestuous relationship after meeting on Facebook. Why are you getting your girlfriends from Facebook? I thought you were supposed to get, you know, sluts only from Facebook. I mean, I mean just saying. I mean, I, I wouldn't get my girlfriend from Facebook. I'm just saying. Anyway. You know, actually, let me just address that. Don't get any of your girlfriends from Facebook. Um, meet somewhere, you know, meet somewhere where you, where you think they might be a little bit more distant, uh, decent, okay? If you're going to date at all. He told Parker, you regularly abused him, including physically, and if you suspected or if he admitted to being unfaithful, you were particularly jealous of his association with his ex-girlfriend, which he probably shouldn't be, you know, uh, associating with his ex-girlfriend unless it was like for some kind of business purpose, you know, it, it, like she works with him or something like that. So the, so trouble was their relationship that the pair agreed that the victim's penis would be burned if uh, should he be unfaithful. Muscat added, he was unfaithful to you and spent two nights with his ex-girlfriend and had sex with her when he found out you reminded of him of his promise to you. He asked you, what about it? You told him to remove his pants and shorts and he did, like the dumbass he was, or excuse me, is. He said that you could tap it with the straightness after he removed his penis after you said you were not going to burn his testicles. The court was court was told how neither the couple fully understood the seriousness of the injuries that the punishment could cause. You took his penis in your hand and then with ever you placed the straightness on either side of the shaft of his penis before squeezing him momentarily. 
I need not say anything of the pain and shock when he, <laughs> which he experienced. The injuries he described in court as leaving his uh, penis swollen, blistering, and pussy and black in color. Whatever pussy, I guess that's pink. Uh, however, the victim did not go to a hospital right away because he was embarrassed. That was never a dumb idea. Parker pleaded guilty to recklessly causing serious harm. But I want you to take a really good look uh, at the end here. It says she was given a suspended nine month jail sentence. So pretty much she's not going to get any time at all. But listen, uh, besides all that crap, through and through, this guy's a complete dumbass. Like, what the hell? Was she gonna uh, let you burn her? Uh, any part of her? She like gonna let you burn her clit? And she had cheated. What the fuck? Like seriously? Why can't you just agree to absolve the relationship if one partner cheats? That's the easiest thing in the world. Look, make your choices wisely, everybody. Remember, the power is yours.